Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles. I'll do my best, my mouth is still a mess, but Neon is not here, so it is just me. And today we're gonna to talk about Kathleen Kennedy. No, actually we're talking about and or showrunner, Tony Gilroy, who is the one that they always call in all the time. Like every time they rewrite something is Tony Gilroy shows up. He did Rogue One and or, and then they brought him in for other things too. He was talking about the toxic fans, okay? Well, yes and no. The media is running with it. He's talking about toxic fans. He's mentioning it, but it wasn't the focus of what he was saying. Uh, there was apparently a an interview, and it was done on Deadline. And they were talking to Tony Gilroy. It was actually before the writer strike, so that was a while ago, okay? About what was going on with with the, with Star Wars, with the Andor two, and I love it. Everybody's running with Star Wars producer calls out toxic fandom attacking Kathleen Kennedy. Of course we are. We're gonna go there again because we need fucking clicks, you know. So we're gonna start with the toxic fans again because it hasn't been done enough. But in the discussion, he really doesn't make it as big a deal as what the media is making it out to be. But I did find it funny, some of the stuff he said. He was talking about, um, but Rogue One, I didn't have any exposure when Rogue One happened, everything that happened. I was really blown back by what was going on and I hadn't paid attention. And I think he was talking about um, people getting upset. Thing is, Rogue One wasn't one a lot of people got upset over. I'm like, okay, Rogue One a lot of people liked. You even went on to The Force Awakens, a lot of people liked it. The Last Jedi is when it started to go downhill. And then by the time it got to Rise of Skywalker, it was absolute garbage. Um, and or people were saying is one of the nice bright spots that we've had in a while. But they're talking about the fandom and he understands the passion, okay? The passion, but I thought it was toxic people. The passion, okay? You have to realize about that community and their passion. They love this thing so much, yeah. The hardcore deepest you have within that community of sh Shiites. Yeah, and then he goes on to compare them to, to Shiites, Sunnis, and Kurds. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Talk about the love of the show and what it means to them. And you have to pay attention to it. But you have to never be cynical about it. You have to try to be serious about, you know, working within that, you know, community and trying to make sure you're respectful, which I agree with. But what he gets down here. He starts talking about the people that are the, the toxic people, you know, the terrible people. He goes on about respecting the audience. You want to respect that audience. You have new people, you have older people that have been around a while. You need to find a you know a middle ground, respect the audience. I agree with you. So far, nothing he said has been toxic fans and you know, blah, blah, blah. Now if you get down to this one, the part that made me laugh was this Kathleen Kennedy discussion. Um they're talking about, he doesn't envy the job that Kathleen Kennedy has to do considering the comments she sees over the internet. Now I do read what they, there's no way doing it and not being controversial. There's no way, it's impossible. And like Kathleen Kennedy's job is like, you don't want to be Kathy ever up on the internet. It's just what she goes through, what they dot, dot, dot. And so they've cut out a bunch of stuff and it's been on for years. Yeah, because Kathleen Kennedy is responsible for this shit show. Kathleen Kennedy is directly responsible for the fact that everybody's pissed about the rise of Skywalker because you had three movies that were supposed to be in the same arc of a story that completely felt unrelated. Ultimately, Kathleen Kennedy was responsible. Whether you loved The Last Jedi and hated Rise of Skywalker or hated Last Jedi and hated The Rise of Skywalker, didn't matter. There was no story. Nothing was planned. There was no overarching anything because you had the first thing setting up with The Force Awakens. Ryan Johnson came in and pretty much undid everything, put in his new characters and wrapped everything up or cut it off for no reason in The, the, the Last Jedi. And then by the time we get to The Rise of Skywalker, um, they're just trying to undo stuff that Ryan Johnson did to redo it so they can change it. And it's just, it's a clusterfuck of epic proportions. Kathleen Kennedy is ultimately responsible. Kathleen Kennedy keeps announcing projects and then they're gone. Every time you turn around, you're, there's creative differences involving Kathleen Kennedy. And it's not just Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy was really, really in there with Indiana Jones. And it's sounding like, I mean, of course, we don't know yet, but it's sounding like that one's going to be a, 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 an issue. And then it's a movie no one wanted anyway. And if they make, they, the rumors are true that Indiana Jones wants to basically destroy history and the other person has to stop him. The woman has to stop him. That's bullshit. And then you have Willow. We have Willow, right? Disney's to remove Willow from Disney Plus. They're not going to remove a show that performs. They're removing Willow because they wouldn't ruin that one too. All under Kathleen Kennedy. Never in my life has I seen somebody shit and fail so badly and still get rewarded for it. 
But no, no, poor Kathy. Poor Kathy. You got to have a pretty thick skin to, to deal with the stuff on the internet to do that. No, it's called you have a thick head because you clearly can't understand that your stuff's not working and it's never you. And even the one that they did have, right? The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian season three slumps to worst audience demand since the launch. The Mandalorian was the one bright spot and they found a way to fuck that up too. But Kathy Kennedy, boy, she's got to have such a thick skin. You, you, you done effed up. You've been effing up. I mean, Rise of Skywalker was a billion dollar, but it was a big box office disappointment. Last Jedi did okay at first and fell off a cliff. Um, they just closed the Galactic Star Cruiser that you based on Disney trilogy. They just keep screwing up and screwing up and screwing up and people are upset about it. And they had Ryan Johns out there harassing the fans. And then they're like, poor Kathy. You have to have a pretty thick skin, but I pay attention. I don't think we've made any real adjustments because of fan complaining, basically. It's just been interesting to watch. Clearly, you haven't made many adjustments, which is why you're fucking failing. I don't know what else to tell you. That I can't wrap my head around this. One, he's a suck-ass anyway, because literally every time they get rid of somebody, they bring Tony Gilroy in. You know, he knows where his, he knows where his bread's being buttered. He's not going to mess that up. He's going to do what he has to do. I'm sorry, my mouth hurts. <laughs> He's going to do what he has to do. But this idea that Kathleen Kennedy is a poor Kathy. She's got a thick skin. She has come under fire so many times for stupidity. Like I said, announcing things that she cancels. You know, a lot of the, the problems with the franchise, and it's not just Star Wars, it's all Lucasfilm. It's trans back to her and she's in charge of it all. Maybe it's not toxic fans. Maybe it's just mismanagement and stupidity. Maybe you stop blaming the fans because why, why are you blaming the fans anyway? You said you don't listen to what they say anyway. You don't make changes because what the fans say. Then why bother mentioning it? Why have every, all these outlets being like toxic fans? Toxic fans. But I thought they didn't matter. You hear them, but they, we don't change anything to appease those people. Obviously. But then here's the thing. My next question is this. When you're feeling this bad and you're trying to blame it on a handful of toxic fans, wouldn't that argument be invalid because you wouldn't fail so tragically if you had a ton of fans who were on your side? The reason you're doing so poorly isn't because this isn't just a small group of people. It's a small, the, 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 the minor, vocal minority. No, it's the vocal majority, and they're not watching your shit. That's the problem. So maybe it's not toxic fans, it's just fans and they're tired of having their stuff ruined and then being told they're bad people for saying so. I'm not talking about the ones who are harassing actors or doing shit like that. You know, the truly toxic people I'm sure exist. Sadly, if you don't agree with something, if you don't like something, if you don't agree that Ray is the bestest thing ever, you are a toxic fan. And it's bullshit. As you can't claim toxic fandom is what poor Kathy Kennedy has to deal with. Kathy Kennedy is getting dealing with the shit she blowback from the shit she did herself. You know, her poor decisions across every franchise that Lucasfilm has is why she's getting blowback. Toxic fans, my ass. Anyway, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the monitor on. Okay. So uh, you can tell my kick setting. Yeah, you can you can so you can Wait, tell. Really, it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's, it's bringing the decibels down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.